Hello, I'm Bruce McMakin with PBA Galleries in San Francisco, auctioneers and appraisers of rare books, manuscripts, photographs, maps, ephemera, and related items. Over the last 30 years or so, I've had the great pleasure of the acquaintanceship and friendship of the late Rick Thompson, a collector, bookseller, and enthusiast with a keen sense of history and culture based on scholarship and encyclopedic knowledge. Rick's tastes were broad, but his focus narrowed when he found an author of great interest. One such author was Ray Bradbury, and we are very pleased to be able to offer the personal collection formed by Rick Thompson in our auction on J July 31st, 2014, Fine Literature with Collections of James Joyce and Ray Bradbury, the library of the late Rick Thompson. With Rick's retirement from active bookselling in the middle of the last decade, we were happy to assist him in the auctioning of large portions of his collection slash inventory. However, a few segments were off-limits, and one of these were his marvelous collection of Ray Bradbury, formed over more than half a century. His family has now judged it time to open the collection to the world and allow it to be dispersed amongst his fellow collectors and enthusiasts. Undoubtedly, the most expensive book in this collection is this nearly fine copy of one of the great rarities of science fiction, the legendary asbestos-bound issue of what is perhaps Ray Bradbury's most famous work, Fahrenheit 451, limited to 200 signed copies. We expect it to sell for between $8,000 and $12,000. Perhaps of greater interest to Bradbury aficionados, however, are these copies of his first two books, Dark Carnival, published by Arkham House in 1947, and The Martian Chronicles, issued by Doubleday in 1950. Each of the books has a full-page inscription by Rad Bradbury to Rick Thompson, dated May 1950. <coughs> Bradbury inscribed these books at a meeting of a literary group Rick and his wife Haven had recently joined with the lengthy name of the Elves, Gnomes, and Little Men's Science Fiction Chowder and Marching Society. The occasion was to award Bradbury with the first Invisible Little Man Award presented by the Society, for the just-published Martian Chronicles. The two books are estimated at auction for $2,000 to $3,000 and $4,000 to $6,000, respectively. While Ray Bradbury was known in later years to never hesitate to sign or inscribe a book, such early inscriptions as these, um, on, as on these two books are quite rare. The association between Rick and Ray continued over the years, and Rick's collection grew to include not only books, but early appearances in fanzines and pulp periodicals, manuscripts, fine press editions, and letters. An exchange of letters spurred by Rick's being sent an inscribed copy of the stories of Ray Bradbury in 1980 harkens back to their first meeting in 1950, with Rick mentioning his inscribed copies of The Dark Carnival and The Martian Chronicles, and Ray musing, quote, R.T., India House, Little Men, Boucher, McComas, what lovely, lovely memories, R.B., Again, Rick Thompson's Bradbury collection, his James Joyce collection, and numerous other books from various consigners will be sold at PBA's Fine Literature Auction on July 31st, 2014, with the catalog currently posted online at www.pbagalleries.com. Uh, there is a live bidding over the internet during the auction, pre-sale dynamic bidding through our website with email notification of your bid, and you may contact the galleries to arrange telephone bidding for specific lots. Thank you.